My two most recent videos were on my most used handbags for the last two months and how I've been feeling about luxury and the fact that I really haven't been enjoying luxury quite as much as I used to. So I thought with those two kind of opposite type of videos that I would share with you guys some handbags in my personal collection that I have right now that I'm really, really not gravitating towards. I wouldn't be sad if I sold them or if I moved on from them. And I could see myself curating my collection to a very small handbag collection, possibly in the future if I continue to feel this way. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Melissa and even though this video is a little bit of a Debbie Downer, I hope that it will still be entertaining and fun for you guys. I will have a playlist of videos linked down below that are a lot more positive just in case you need a little bit of a mood boost after this one. So the first bag that I want to talk about that I would have absolutely no problem with selling or getting rid of or moving on from is my Bottega Veneta Arco bag. Now I use this bag, I actually use all of the handbags in my collection, but I use it because I make myself use it. I paid $3,800 for this bag in boutique. I got it in a color that I shouldn't have got it, my sales associate convinced me that I could work this into my wardrobe and my daughter liked it. So with those two people kind of telling me that it would be good for me, I did go ahead and go against my better judgment and get this bag. I don't use it very often. It's a work bag for me and it's a summer bag. So like if I'm going somewhere where I need a bag that I don't care about as much, this is one of the bags that I may grab because I don't care about it as much, so it's not that big of a deal. Otherwise, I typically tend to use this for work because for work, I just put it on my shoulder and then put it down in my office. I don't necessarily need it to match my outfit. It doesn't go with any of my wardrobe. However, it is a very practical bag. Next up is this bag. It's simply because I don't use it enough. This is a pouch bag. It's a clutch bag. It's the only clutch that I own. I think it's a really, really good clutch. I actually think it's a really great bag to have in your collection. However, I'm not in love with it. I use it about once or twice a year and I would not be upset or sad if somebody reached out to me and was like, hey, Melissa, I would love to buy that pouch bag from you. Definitely, let's work something out. That is true for any of these bags, you guys. If, any, if you are interested in any of these bags and you would like to buy one of them for me, let me know because as of right now, I'm really not interested in having tons of bags in my collection that I'm not using. So this one gets used very little. I still like it. I'm not eager to sell it. It's just one of those things that I just don't use it enough to justify the price. I believe I paid $3,200 for this brand new in boutique and I've used it a handful of times throughout the last several years and I just simply don't use it enough to justify having it and keeping it on my shelf. You guys ready for this one? A little bit controversial, huh? So I still have this bag in my collection. If you have no clue what I'm talking about, this is the bag that I was prepared to sell and one of my friends decided that she wanted to do a trade with me and she went ahead and she got it um, authenticated and it came back inauthentic. So I've had this bag, a fake bag, in my wardrobe for the last few years. I've been flaunting it, loving it, talking about it for the last two years and it was fake the whole time and that makes me feel extremely bitter about this bag. However, one of you guys pointed out to me, I have loved this bag for the last two years. I spent a lot of money on this bag, so why would I throw it away? I've been using it. I know that it's not real and it's not authentic, but I thought it was and I still loved it when I thought it was, so why would I not love it now? It makes me feel a little bit icky inside, but I do get what she, where she's coming from. So I have decided to take the time to really think about it. So I found out that this bag was inauthentic over a month ago and it just sits on my bottom shelf. I haven't used it. I get really bad feelings every time I look at it. But she's right, I spent $2,500 on this and the thought of throwing away something that cost me $2,500 really doesn't settle right with me, but it also doesn't settle right with me to use a fake bag. So I'm torn on what I'm gonna do with this bag. For now, she just sits on my shelf, but I definitely could live without her. I don't know if you guys are ready for this one. This was a favorite for a very, very long time. 
I think I've used this a couple of times this year because I forced myself to, but it's just not my vibe. The color is too bright for me. I had a color analysis done and I have learned that this color is too bright for me. However, it is a handbag. It's not up close by my face and it does work with a lot of my wardrobe. But the reason why I don't use this bag very often anymore, one, it's one of my older bags, so I'm not quite as excited about it. And two, is the fact that it doesn't hold very much. So I really had to be picky about what I use, my cell phone, my sunglasses, a lipstick or chapstick, and my key pouch, and a card holder. That's all that's gonna fit in here comfortably. And even with that being said, the sunglasses have to be laid right on top. And so you have to pull your sunglasses out anytime you get into it. So that's just not ideal for me. And the fact that I have other bags that work better, I tend to reach for those ones instead. So this is a bag that as much as I loved it throughout the years, I definitely have fallen out of love with this bag. Here's another one, you guys. I just simply don't love it. I'm not a shoulder bag girl. I find that it's slightly too bulky to be a crossbody comfortably. Now I could get away with it and I have. However, the color throws me off. You can see how dingy this looks. So anytime I wear it with white or something that has white in it, it really just clashes with the color. And I don't really wear this with colors. I don't know, it's just, I just simply don't reach for it. I think it's beautiful. I think it's very practical. It's a great bag. I do recommend this if you love this style of bag because it is a really, really great bag. It's gonna hold all of your everyday essentials. Luckily, I bought this one pre-loved, so I bought it for $1,400. And because I bought it pre-loved, it's not such a harsh, punch in the gut as far as price point. If I would have paid $3,000 for this and it didn't work the way it's not working for me, then I would definitely be sad. I tend to use this as a bag just like my Arco bag. I use it for work and I use it if I know that I'm going somewhere where I don't want to fuss with my bag. This is a bag that I tend to reach for. But if somebody were to reach out and say, hey, Melissa, I want to buy that bag, I would sell it in a heartbeat. Before I jump in the next two bags, which I am extremely ashamed to admit are on this list, please give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I have had an extreme decrease in subscriber count recently. I'm not sure what's going on, but just do me a favor and check and make sure that you are subscribed down below in case you thought you were subscribed, but you aren't subscribed. Okay, first one is my new bag. This is my Lee Tanner bag. I bought this bag when it was on sale and the reason why I opted for this one was because, well one, it was on sale, but also because of the color and also because I thought it would be super easy to use. However, there was a different one that I liked more, but it seemed like it would be complicated to use, so I decided not to go with that one. I regret it. I wish I would have went with the other one. This is a great bag. I've used it once. I had no issues with using it. I just don't love it. And I think I'm just kind of in that era where I really, really need to be super, super picky about the bags that I buy. So unfortunately, this was $460 worth of a bag that I could have definitely lived without. And it's brand new and I just bought it. And that's really, really saying something. All right, are you guys ready for this next one? This one right here. This is my new Kala Jade bag. Now this one I feel differently about. I wish that Kala Jade was easier to do exchanges because I would have exchanged for a medium. So although I do feel like I could live without this bag, if someone said, hey, Melissa, I wanna buy that bag from you, I would sell it and then I would go buy the medium because I really, really, think that the medium would be perfect. I think it's a beautiful bag. I think it's stunning. I do feel like this handle is extremely uncomfortable. However, I don't carry it that way. I carry it with the top handle. I like the fact that it can hold all of my everyday things in here. It can fit a laptop in here easily. I just wish I would have gone with the medium inside instead of the large. That's the only con about this one. So if I were to sell this or move on to this, it would be, or move on from this, it would be specifically because I want the medium. I just wasn't willing to pay, I think I paid $40 for shipping here, 
And then when you send it back, you have to pay another $40. And then they have another additional fee for doing a return. So it would be about $100 worth of fees. And then I would have to pay the $40 for the medium shipping to be sent to me. So that's just too much money lost to send it back. So that's why I didn't. But other than that, I think it's a great bag. It just is the wrong size. Here's my last two, you guys. Are you surprised? I have this thing where I really love contemporary designer bags and I think that I will use them and gravitate towards them, but I just don't. I'm that bougie bitch. I always choose a luxury bag over my contemporary designer handbags. However, I did choose this one knowing that it's not gonna hold all of my everyday essentials. This is a perfect bag for arenas where they have um, a size limit where your bag has to be a certain size this is perfect for that and i use it for that and i love it for that it's also really cute and small and dainty i love this bag but if i were to sell it would i be sad probably not if i'm being honest now this bag is a backpack so of course i don't use it very often i think it's really cute it's really beautiful but i'm just in an era where i feel like cleaning house and i feel like cleaning pretty much everything out and because of that, I can definitely live without this bag as well. It's unfortunate, you guys, but that's just kind of where I'm at at the moment. I do want to do a quick little disclaimer because I have a strong feeling that somebody's going to mention this down in the comments below. Just because I'm not excited about these bags today, just because at this moment in life, at this period in life, I could live without these, that doesn't mean that my future or my um, past thoughts were incorrect it doesn't mean that I lied to you it doesn't mean that I bought a bag just for a video or that I bought something just because I wanted to share it with you guys it doesn't mean that I wasn't honest about my opinions it doesn't mean any of those things the way I felt about them when I bought them and the way that I feel about them now has just simply shifted and if it's anything like it has been in the past, six months from now, I'm going to fall in love with these bags again. So it's not something I'm worried about. I just wanted to share with you guys where I'm thought, where I'm at my, with my thoughts and just be raw and open and honest with you guys. And I wonder if you guys are feeling similar with your collections. If you are, let us know down in the comments below. Do you have a group of handbags or a handful of handbags that you feel like you could just do away with? If you didn't have them in your collection anymore, you would be perfectly fine.